he can actually be a lot more aggressively and, and uh, trade hit for hit and fall back on that passive regen. Oh, we might see a brawl on the top rune. It's going to be three heroes for VP. Oh, but do they really want to go up against him dying like this? He's already laid down the tomb, so they're desperate to be able to pick up this rune. Nice! That away, that actually brings our TZ low, but he is able to win, win run himself away. The zombie apocalypse is just chasing down the rest of VP, but it looks like they should be fine as the next heal is coming up in time. They're actually going to turn on the fear, who actually managed to get another good decay, but with Peter coming in, doesn't look like they can pursue. And, uh, nope, the stun! Do they have enough damage? Illidan's trying to chase him down. Peter only gets a stun on one, but he managed to get the Hex now onto Illidan. DK Phobos now gonna try and run down Fear, who has very little mana left. Enough for one more decay. Is it going to be enough for him to be able to survive? It looks like they do get the kill on PPD, while Fear, oh, a bash up means he's not gonna escape from that one. And DP, walk away big. First blood and a double kill there. At the same time as being able to pick up the rune, get shackled. There's, it, it's very unlikely that Doom's actually gonna kill anyone. And when you have right-click heroes like like Sardar and a Tiny, you don't really care if you're doomed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So the relocate's actually going to come in. I was just about to say, they were able to pick up a pretty fast level 6 through clearing that. No, the top 4, but DK Fobos unable to get off the stun. At least they get the avalanche. That sells things up quite significantly. Samael's going to come in for the kill on a little, but nice shallow grave. And they will be able to get a little out of here alongside the Slardar, but FNG is kind of stuck, left behind, essentially. And Dilladin... Oh, the real boulder! It almost got to him, but Illidan managed to TP back just in time. Engines at this time. Wind Ranger, maybe? I, I, I guess Wind Ranger, but that doesn't really make much sense. Yeah, you rarely smoke for just a lion kill, though, so they, they must have expected someone to do the ancients. Oh, did toss oh. forward Lil? Okay, that's not what Lil wanted to happen. Now Universe is going to be able to get the boulder onto Illidan and start chasing him down. They're going to have the TP in of the Dazzle to try and help this situation Dazzle. out, and it looks like Illidan will survive because of that one. Uh, G, just going to take some damage before he's forced to blink away. And literally threw Lil at the uh, tier 2 tower area. Looks like the fight's still gonna commence though, as the uh, tombstone is laid out by nice shackle shot. Controls fast. FNG still managed to get off the uh, shallow grave. No TP out though, so it looks like he's probably gonna go down here. The last right click, Fear, he's gonna be able to pick it up on the side. Illidan paired up with Lil, toss forward, trying to burst down some mail, but not quite enough damage. So they're gonna go for the kill onto Lil. They managed to miss the shackle shot. No, they actually landed, but still, they managed to uh, get the relocate back out. Sonic Wave actually clears through some mail nice and quick. Now they're gonna go into Universe as well. The next is coming up for DK Bobo shortly, but not in time as PPD is able to hit the stun and stalls up the fight long enough for EG to escape. And the net worth is only 2,500, so if EG actually dodged like one or two ganks, uh, they might actually be able to catch up. Oh, the shackle shot. RGZ lands it beautifully. Now G is going to be caught as PPD gets in heat time just for the hex before the blink is out. And EG actually rotating so many heroes with what was uh, essentially a guaranteed kill. That was but that really probably close. means they want to push in the tier 1 towers. Fear! Oh, the balls! Don't let him hit you! Oh, I'm dying. Chase down to the tier 2 tower with EG's massive rotations up the top lane they can't. Is the, um, what about the, the blink dagger for the Wind Ranger? Because we have a lot of these, you know, sort of it's, instant it's blink. Hard. Yeah. You already have an instant. Oh. Illidan, he's gonna be saved by Lil. Good relocate. Out. Oh. I mean, we see GTPing in. They might try and bait him out over here. They do have an observer ward. They know yeah. who's standing around. DK Phobos can definitely come back in. Let's see. They're, oh, they're going to TP the Tiny in and still try and fight this one out. Lil does get bursted down, though, before he can get out the tether. And now VP are in an awkward situation with Illidan. Rather far board, but G is sitting on the side here with his invis. This could be a great opportunity for them to get the surprise burst. But Universe is just a bit too tanky, especially with that Scorched Earth. Scorched Earth healing him up over time. Arteezy is going to find... Oh, they're going to jump in. DK Phobos is going to be the target. They do manage to burst him down nice and fast. So it's going to be kind of a trade-off for that Wisp and Arteezy. Bell's not giving as much of a vision as before. Mm -hmm. And in that particular case, Sora with the amp, probably not realizing that they were another great shackle shot. And just in range, PPD max range there with the Earth Spike and the follow-up Hex. It's probably a bit old. Oh, nice. Two man stuck with Weave over the top. DK Bobos. Oh, what a big shadow wave out from the Dazzle. FNG playing that one beautifully. Locks down the Wind Ranger. And I was looking at that situation going, the Wind Ranger was just going to be able to win run and pop the haste and run yeah, away. Yeah, relocate one. This is going to be bad for EG. Oh, yes, it is. The relocate's actually going to come into the trees. PPD sets up the stun very nicely, and that'll stall up the massacre. But it's only a delay, as it seems like these heroes are still going to go down. Never mind, DK Mobiles actually runs headlong into some mail. And the rest of these heroes, actually FNG, try and go for the deny, but he still's too healthy. So that means he's just left for some mail. Pick up the kill instead. Still buyback from RTZ. Yeah, a good 
except their timing, I think, farming off somewhere you can, you think you can farm safely with Ember Spear, as well as the Wind Ranger. Wind Ranger is also very vulnerable to an Orchid at this point in the game, but it's not, it hasn't been that timing where you're like, oh god, he has Orchid. He's like, oh, okay, he has oh, some mail. Oh, I think he thought he was going to be able to get away from that one. He will be able to actually jump to the Revenant now. They're turning around with the Tombstone now, and the Doom already out on DK Fobos. They throw up their finger just to make sure he does go down. A good Shallow Grave will couple with the Relocate out to make sure that the Tiny does survive, but they're going to be able to catch FNG, it seems like. G, who's already thrown out his Sonic Wave. Well, actually, the mail is actually really low from all that minus armor. Look at that. He's down to negative 30 between the combination of the Weave and the Amplify. Just the right clicks of G and that support were enough to threaten him. They do come back with a relocate that Lil was already dead. It feels like that was just not the play. And I really thought they were just going to sacrifice Lil, but that was they bring back Queen the Tiny Pain. too. Queen of Pain missed the Scream on, on the Ember Spirit. He needed the Ember Kill. I don't think he had Remnant down, so he can't like buy back and immediately come back, but that's a, that's a huge fight for them. Oh, they're still going to fight again. Even after BP lose one fight, yes. they'll continue forward. And double chain down, DK Bubbles, and Eevee Bash on a Samael. That's going to be problematic, and they keep him alive with a shallow grave. Samael is going to bounce himself back, though, and BP now to focus on this frontline tombstone until Samael comes back forward. No, there's shallow, no shallow grave, but he's now exposed to DK Bubbles, trying to go for that kill with the Amplified Damage. He needs a Bash desperately, but he's not going to get an EG. They win yet another team fight. The TP in. Don't tell me BP are going to continue to move forward with this one. Illidan is now ready to go with his Blink Dagger. He's going to jump immediately forward, manage to get PPD, but another great stun. God comes forward, but they managed to burst down Lil, and Illidan's gonna be stuck combining between Universe and Samael. He's gonna go down again, and BP, they showed a lot of intensity in willing to just push uphill time and time again. You said that BP, they're brave like that. They're um, because he's so far ahead in net worth, what about more significant uh, armor items like the job's still the same. He can get one later, but it is the oh. job still to tank up, be in front, it's gonna be split up, split push, I'll scale with Tiny. Yeah, and the way you deal with split push is to pick off, but blinks generally aren't enough uh, versus other blinks, especially mm -hmm. if you don't have instant cast, which Doom does not anymore, and you need Shadow Blade to scout out. But they have a sentry! Oh, the shackle shot! It's not actually gonna be able to latch, and Illidan comes forward, managing to get off the stun before he's doomed up, but now they're just gonna go on to RTZ, but it looks like VP are gonna be on full retreat here. Lil doesn't have a relocate for another 20 seconds, so it looks like they may have to just give up on Illidan. He's taking him a lot, but it's not gonna be enough. It's the male comes in, gets a double chain, the lockdown of the shackle shot will make sure the god, no, he actually barely managed to escape ahead of the flight of this and should be able to TP out DK Phobos, maybe the other survivor, as his blink is on cooldown, power shot, no, that's not enough, so he will be able to get out thanks to the sprint movement speed, but that could mean the mech finish up for the West, you can start going into the BKBs that we're talking about, both on the Queen of Pain and the Slardar, and then obviously you have a lot that the Tiny needs to build into, well, jump forward here, G is going to be in a, a spot of trouble here because they're trying to chase down a hasted Ember Spirit, oh, not quite enough burst damage. Artis is going to be stunned up. Looks like he got craggied, actually. Will try and go for the blink out, but not in time. They keep the damage on him. Meanwhile, DK Phobos actually trying to stall up the retreat of Evil Geniuses. Nice, Shalgrave, just in time for DK Phobos. Looks like he's still going to be taken out here. Illidan's going to be taken out by the Doom as well. And these heroes on the side of BP can actually do enough to protect their cores as they do successfully stall up EG's retreat. But the thing is, EG just turn and fight and handedly win. Four heroes for the one pickoff on RTZ. And again, they're just put in a terrible... Hanging out, waiting for the trees, cutting creep waves when he can. But EG are just going to barrel down the bottom lane and look to take that tier 2 tower. There is still the split pushing capabilities of the Tiny West. The universe is going to put a stop to that one. This is what we're talking about with the Shadow Blade initiation. Lil is just going to abandon Illidan because he knows he's definitely dead. The only question is whether or not Illidan can get away from this one. Arteezy is searching for the Shackle Shot right now but can't actually throw it out as he knows that Illidan's just going to TP out. It happens. He blinks away, TPs out, and EG won't be able to stop him. Meanwhile, what happened to our Queen of Pain? He got spotted out by Ember Spear. Doom back in the day. Double AC armor hard. is fine. I, yeah. I guess no one else is going to build AC, so he should probably build AC, but yeah. you also you, you want to keep your HP to armor ratio pretty decent. You don't want to be too fluffy, nor do you want to be too low on HP. But I, I mean, he can go easy. I don't think they have enough burst to kill him. I like the way Lil is adapting to this. Now, he is going to be doomed up, so maybe tethering into Illidan wasn't the greatest idea, but oh, they managed to actually stop that TP. Lil runs back right into the open arms of Samael. Nice toss back from Illidan, just hoping he will be able to get the space to blink out. But once again, they do save him. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, they are already taking out the Dazzle. Looks like PPD is going to be going down to the Orca. No, the heal comes in just in time from fear and saves his fellow support's life. 
life, and now Jean's going to be run down by RTZ, just fearlessly diving into that tier 3 tower, knowing that the blink was on cooldown for G, and picks up that additional kill, so we'll top lane, even if a full series on our hands, but we'll see. 30 seconds until the Queen of Pain is back up. They're pushing down the uh, top tier 2 at the same time as pushing down middle. This is how in control EG feel. Illidan actually jumps forward, will be able to get some of the combination. RTC finally does go down, but of course he's got that Aegis. Illidan needs to be able to survive through this one. FNG, Shellgrave, no, not in time. And Lil, now he's going to be the target. There's going to be Shellgrave there, but RTZ hits the tackle shot. DK Phobos hits a great stun, but FNG goes down. The damage is just too great now. And EG just take over the base. They do have God back, but Radiance Evil Geniuses, back. they didn't really blow much for those kills. And they're still plenty healthy. Jump in, trying to pop RTZ, not going to be good enough damage. And Illidan, team jumps forward, that's going to be a dieback. That should, that should be game at this point. So, really, yeah. very well played by EG. They really ha held on in that mid game. I didn't expect their team fight and execution to be so darn good. And dealing with those double blinks when you don't have any blinks on your own and you have an underpart Wind Ranger, it yeah. really requires like precise timing, precise like shackles and tombstone placement and whatnot. And EG just really excelled at dealing with VP's lineup. So Virtus Pro, they gave us quite the show in game number one, but the evil genius.